There used to be a great expanse of ocean here, but through the passage of time, grain after grain of sand has now formed this big area of land. Four hundred years ago, our forefathers reclaimed it through its use for salt production and aquaculture, benefiting many lives. With abundant aquatic life, the ecology here is as fascinating as our humanities. This is Taijiang. Whenever the north wind blows, a group of winged passengers will land here. After flying over mountains, crossing the oceans and wilderness, they stop here every year, leaving their fascinating markings. As the spring returns, they change into simple yet gorgeous new plumage and go home to breathe. So it happens year after year. This is a very rare bird. In 1989, there were only 288 individuals left in the world. After more than 20 years of conservation efforts, its numbers have increased to 2,693 but it is still categorized as a species near to extinction. In order to breed and to survive, it must migrate collectively. Its footprints stretch across nine countries in Asia. Through hails of bullets across the North-South Korean border, through the dark clouds of snow and sleet, what on earth makes it always keep its appointment on time? We cannot confirm its first visit to Taiwan. The only thing known for certain is that in the 19th century, Swinho, the English naturalist, got hold of a stuffed bird and gave it its new identity. It was not until the end of the 20th century that we humans started to get to know it, little by little. The passenger that pays its annual visit to this lagoon has an unusual name, the black-faced spoonbill. 